read the mayor's proclamation. The mayor of Shelby County Government, proclamation by the mayor. Whereas Nathan Bedford Forrest, a Shelby County citizen in the 19th century, was born on the 13th day of July, 1821, in Bedford County, Tennessee. And whereas in Memphis, Forrest enlisted as a private in the Confederate Army in 1861 and assumed the position of Lieutenant Colonel before becoming a Lieutenant General in 1864. And whereas the Honorable Kelly Barrow, a nationally known historian, will speak at the annual Forest Remembrance to recognize this soldier. Now therefore, I, Mark H. Lutful, Jr., Mayor of Shelby County, Tennessee, do hereby set aside Sunday, July 14, 2013, to acknowledge Nathan Bedford Forrest in Shelby County and remember his role in American state and local history. The witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of Shelby County to be affixed this second day of July, 2013, Mark H. Lutful, Jr., Mayor of Shelby County. I'd like to call forth Fred Lincoln to read the proclamation from the governor of the state of Tennessee. Thank you, it's my privilege today to read the proclamation from the state of Tennessee by the governor. It states, whereas the Tennessee Code annotated 15-2101 states that it is the duty of the governor to proclaim July 13 as Nation Nathan Bedford Forrest Day, and whereas Nathan Bedford Forrest is a recognized military figure in American history and a native Tennessean. Now therefore, I, Bill Haslam, governor of the state of Tennessee, do hereby proclaim July 13 2013 as Nathan Bedford Forrest Day in Tennessee and encourage all citizens to join me in this worthy observance. Uh, and that's sounded, of course, by the Governor Bill Haslam and the Secretary of State, Trey Hart. Thank you. Unless I'm mistaken, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that the Commercial Appeal was the only news media outlet that decided this was important enough to attend, so let's thank him also. <laughs> I'd like to call Mark Buchanan back to the microphone to recognize our honored guest today. One more thing. <laughs> we have all of you are honored guests here today at Forest Park. We'd like to recognize a lot of people that really are on the forefront of this fight, and they have been for years. From the Shelby County Historical Commission, we have Jim Ober. We have the County Historian, Mr. Ed Williams. Tennessee Historical Society, John Harkins. The local and southern Sons of Confederate veterans are well represented here today, as it's quite obvious. If I leave anybody, anybody out, uh, I do apologize. But from the Robert E. Lee camp in Germantown, Tennessee, the commander cannot be here today. But the color sergeant is who brought the colors that are in front of the general right there, Mr. Don Harris. From the Wigfall Grays of Collierville, a very, very active camp here in the Memphis area, Mr. Ed Cotter, the commander. From the General Chalmers camp out of Mississippi, Sam Eskey. from the great state of Mississippi as well, the Tip of Tigers. Big yeah. round hands of the Tip of Tigers. Yeah. From 
Buck Covington Wade and Simon and Wilcox Camp, the Sons of Confederate Veterans, Russell Bailey. And of course, you have seen him here already today from the Nathan Bedford Forest Camp here in Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Alan Doyle. We also have spokesman for the Citizens to Save Our Parks, Lieutenant Commander of the Tennessee Division of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, Task Commander of the Lee Camp, Captain of the 51st Tennessee, guitarist with the 52nd String Man, Mr. Lee Miller. The United Daughters of the Confederacy are also well represented. We have from the Forest chapter here in Memphis City, Linda Dinwiddie. From the Elso chapter, Miss Janet Jackson. Miss Dorothy Heron from the Verena Howell Davis chapter in Horn Lake, Mississippi. All the way from Jonesboro, Arkansas, we have the James Wiseman Hunnell chapter, Miss Bobby Barnett. Has been awarded the S.D. Lee Award in 2010, so she's a very staunch Confederate. We have Joanne Moore, the children of the Confederacy, Marion, Arkansas. <laughs> Cynthia Blaylock, the Force Chapter in Hernando, Mississippi. <laughs> and Pam Malden, University of Hey, I'm all in the United Daughters of the Confederacy, Mississippi Division. She's a historian. Yay! If you guys really want to yell, you can. We have several reenactor groups right here. The 7th Arkansas, the 151st Tennessee with Sergeant Mike Darty, the 51st Tennessee, Lee Miller, the 1st first, first Arkansas Mounted Rifles, Buddy Bell, the 1st Tennessee Infantry, the 1st Tennessee Heavy Artillery, who I had an ancestor in, Mr. Moore College. The 17th Mississippi, Paul Alpert. And of course, always to be honored, the Mechanized Cavalry, all SCV members. Okay, at this time, just right before we get into our program, we're going to entertain you with some music from the 52nd Regiment of String Band, led by Lee Miller, Davies.